janitor found what? Drugs. Right here in your classroom. Just keep an eye out for anyone who looks suspicious. Oh, I will, all right. I'll make sure we catch him. Good morning, class. Everyone, bring me your homework. Thank you. Hi, Miss Karen. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have my homework. But I brought you this apple. Oh, Adam. You are so sweet. You know what? It's fine. Just bring it tomorrow. Marcus, where's your homework? I, um... Uh... Don't tell me you didn't do what you had all weekend. Look, I'm really sorry. I just... I've been really busy the last couple days. Busy doing drugs. Look, could, could I please just have one more day to finish it? No. I'm giving you an F. Solve for X. Maybe someone who hasn't gone in a while? Marcus? Marcus! What? Were you sleeping in my class? Oh, no, no. We, we had, look, I, I didn't get much sleep last night. Mm hmm. Because you were out partying. Why don't you come up here and solve this problem? Let's see. Uh, uh, it is not that hard. I know. I know. I'm just. I'm having a really hard time concentrating. Uh huh. And why is that? Something? Is that why you got those sunglasses on? No, 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 not at all. No? Okay. Go ahead and remove your hood and your sunglasses. Look at me. Your eyes are bright red. I know. Last couple of days, I've gotten like no sleep. And, and what what happened was oh, I, I knew was... it was you. What? What was me? First, you don't turn in your homework. Then you fall asleep in my class, and you come up here with these bloodshot eyes. Admit it. You're on drugs. <laughs> On drugs? I've never done drugs in my life. Oh, uh-huh. The janitor found drugs in this classroom, and it was obvious whose they were. You know, you should really just ask before assuming. Mm-hmm. That's enough. You're going to the principal's office. Adam? Uh, yes, Miss Karen? Come up here and solve the problem for the class. Um, yeah, no problem at all. Thanks. Let's go. Thank you for coming in, Mrs. Wesson. We haven't been able to get a hold of your husband yet, but we can go ahead and start. Uh, there's no easy way to say this, but we found out that your son is on drugs. What? No. No, there's no way. Marcus would never. That's what I said. He fell asleep in class. His eyes are bright red. And there are a lot of other facts. Well, that's just because he has a lot going on at home. 
But I promise you, it has nothing to do with drugs. Look, I know that no mother wants to believe that their child is abusing substances. Maybe we should wait until Marcus's father gets here. Marcus's father isn't coming. Oh. Okay. Is everything okay? No, it's not. You see, Marcus and his father have always been close. If you ever asked him, he'd always say that he had the best dad in the world. But what he didn't know is that his father wasn't the very best husband. He was seeing other women behind my back. He didn't even try very hard to hide it. I knew it wasn't right, but I never left because I didn't want Marcus to grow up without a father. So I never told him. Until one day, Marcus found out for himself. He walked in on his dad and saw everything so you see the reason marcus hasn't slept and why his eyes are all red is because his dad left yesterday and he moved in with his secretary and marcus and i were up all night crying Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Wesson. We had no idea you and Marcus were dealing with all that. It's okay. Honestly, it's for the better anyway. I'm just worried about him. I'm sorry as well. <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that we found drugs in the classroom. And I know. They belong to your son. No, no, no I'm, I'm trying to tell you, they weren't mine. There is no way. Those were not his. My son does not do any drugs. Well, if they weren't yours, then whose were they, huh? Look who I found doing drugs in the bathroom. What? Adam? No. No, that can't be possible. This must be a mistake. I caught him red-handed. Well, let's take him to the security office. This isn't fair. Let me go. Come with me. this whole time. I kept trying to tell you. I should have asked. Instead of assuming. I am so sorry, Marcus.